here at Dick's Family Foods here in Wrightstown, Wisconsin. And we're gonna come in and take a look and take a look at our grocery shopping and find some healthy options. Hi Jeanette, hi Wendy. We're here at Dick's Family Foods in the produce section. Um, we both have clients that ask us, how do we eat? What, what does our body need? Um, and one of the ways that we teach them is to traffic light eating, right? Um, what do you know about a traffic light? Traffic light green, yellow, red. Yeah, green means go, right? Green light foods are go foods, are fruits and vegetables, right? Green light foods are grow foods, right? They are not made. They're rich and dense in nutrients, those vitamins and minerals, full of antioxidants that are great for the body, the brain, the immune system. Um, you can, they are hard to overeat. Okay, you can't eat 12 apples. Right, right. right. Yeah. Or a bunch of bananas. So, absolutely. Bright, bright reds, bright blues, deep greens. So. Yellow light foods. Yellow means yellow means hold up, slow down, yield. right? Yellow light foods are those foods that we still need every day. However, we don't eat as much of them. So those are like our whole grains, our lean meats, our uh, Greek yogurts, brown rice. So. They are still have a lot of nutrients, but they're maybe a little bit more in calories. Right. And we need to watch our portion size. Absolutely. Oats are a great yellow light food, right? They're one of those whole grains that we eat in moderation and that but we can still eat every day. And nuts can be really great sources of the good fats, some great sources of um, those good things for our body. So looking at the nuts here, what would be our best option. I do like the nutrition ones that they have. A lot of times they have them that are wholesome nut mix, cashews, almonds, and they just have a touch of sea salt. So that's what's in here. Cashews, almonds, macadamias, um, that's some peanut oil and sea salt. And that's what's in this specific one. If you go to the, let's say, um, honey roasted, because that's a go-to for a lot of people. Honey roasted has sugar, honey, dextrin, cottonseed, and peanut oil and salt. So a lot of additives to those nuts. So the best option with a nut is any raw nut that's just basically an almond or a cashew or whatever it is. And again, when those, we want to look at portion size because they are your yellow lights. You're going to stop and wait a minute and you're looking at your portion is just a handful, right? Like not a heaping handful, but just a handful because I could grab this and say, yeah, these are really good for me and eat this whole thing and that's not the best idea because then you're adding a lot of calories, right? Yep. So then you can over consume. Right. Yep. We wanted to take you on a tour of the red light aisle. Okay. So, so a reminder, red light foods, red light means right stop and think. Right. So there's a couple of choices, right? We can think of a better option. We can think, okay, I just need to make the portion a little bit smaller. Yep. Or maybe it's just a, a special occasion, once right. in a while kind of thing. Right, yeah. absolutely. So we have our list of sodas and beverages here. Um, and we're gonna get into the chips and all these types of things. So as we move through the grocery store, you're gonna wonder what are the green, what are the yellow, what are the red light foods, right? As you're kind of moving through and um, in our meat piece here, you'll look, and we've got deli meat. So let's take a look at a deli meat once. This is turkey. You might think, oh, a lean meat. Oven roasted turkey breast. Look at here. All these great things. No preservatives, no nitrates, no added hormones. So we're thinking maybe this is a yellow light food. Uh, we always take a look at the label. So the, on the label, what I'm going to look at here is, first of all, the ingredients. So we're looking at cornstarch, contains less of these, salt, sugar, dextrose, and there may be a few things that you may not even be able to say or pronounce, 
Um, and then we're gonna look at the actual information itself. So on a nutrition label, serving size is really important as well. So serving size, serving per container here is eight. So breaking this into eight, normally, you know, how many slices does that mean? Um, also looking at the calories and such on here, the calories that are shown on a nutrition label are typically about 25% one way or the other. They are guidelines. So this could mean that there is 50 calories in here or take 25% uh, up or down on that. So we're looking at this. This is also a very processed food, being that it is a deli meat. So we would consider this more of a red light food than it is a yellow light meat. considered yellow light food. Chickens, turkeys, lean red meats. Um, we um, prefer, prefer organic, but if in a pinch, right, you can always go with what they have. So one of the ones, if I was to come into the store and to pick something out, I would look for uh, a lean meat was this in chicken, and I would look for this would be the one that I would pick here, the, the Amish farm one that's got no antibiotics and all that good stuff there. Um, would be the one I would pick from in this specific area. For this, a grab and go, a quick meal area. These might be um, the mac and cheese and those things. Those might be filling your cupboards because this might be something that you have as a go-to. These would also be considered in more of your red light foods. So things that you want to use or have moderately, um, not on an every day. If I look at the ingredients on my mac and cheese, first thing you're gonna see is there's a lot of ingredients. So um, when you're looking at a nutrition label, really we're looking at something and what we wanna put in our bodies for those nutrients, for those vitamins and minerals and those types of things, we wanna look for something that has maybe less than 10 ingredients. So the first thing I see here is there's way more than 10 ingredients here. Um, so looking for things again like whole wheat and that type of things, I don't see anything. The very first thing here is enriched macaroni product. So that doesn't even tell me that it's an actual food, right? Um, enriched means that it's something is added. So um, there's definitely not a whole wheat or any of that in this specific food. And I would consider this very highly processed. The fact that you're gonna toss it in the microwave and put that in your body. 